I like if someone thinks what I did super bizarre and unconventional. It's like, oh, hey, whatever. It's, it's mine and I mean, I made you think, I guess. <laughs> I guess a big deterring factor from going the art route initially was just everyone's like, oh, it's so hard to make money, you're gonna struggle, starving artist, it's a saying for a reason, yada yada, right? And for a while, I, I, don't, I don't think I tricked myself, but I like architecture and houses and stuff like that, so it was my way of combining my love for art with math, as well as still being profitable, hopefully. I think me getting to go to Toronto often, but not actually living in Toronto, although it's sort of ironic, is what sort of fuels the inspiration because I never liked the suburbs. And now it's like I get to visit that inspiration. I like it. I feel extremely at home there. And then when I'm here, I'm almost longing for that and other sort of distant experiences. Sometimes I'll bring my camera up and I may only have 10 minutes to shoot, but it's like, hey, I'm going from point A to point B, taking my camera out and shooting lots of street photography, which is, I think a big part of my work, that sort of candid imagery, and I try to incorporate that into portraiture sometimes. iPhone photography was a huge thing that threw me into it, actually, more than any class. It was sort of something that I was already interested in when I was younger. I liked using my parents, just point and shoot camera. I had bought one for myself. And then when I got my iPhone, which was my first real like, smartphone, it was like always snapping pictures. Instagram was gaining traction at that point. So it was somewhere that I could post them and just do whatever I thought was interesting. I just think it comes back to intention. And I think that having phones with good cameras now almost makes it like there's no excuse to say that you can't uh, make a visually compelling photo quality doesn't end up mattering when it's at that point. I think you have to develop yourself before you develop your gear, basically. Work on composition, get your own sort of style going, or riff off other people's even, like diversify your following. Take inspiration from them, or from people, or from nature, music, whatever it is, like sort of get a melding pot of influences, I guess, but from there, do your own thing and use social media as a platform to like spread what you want to do and gain traction but don't fall into the trap of doing what other people are already doing. Have shifts, like I've had tons of different phases where I've focused on different things. Personally mine for a long time now has been trying to stick with the natural colors I see but enhancing them so it's like, it's like if you painted a place you try to make it look as beautiful as possible sort of playing off that and letting the composition and the posing do most of the talking. As far as the creative industry, um, I like that lots of people are intrigued by it. It's sort of become more accepted, I guess. Although at the same time, that's also brought downfalls where you get these people that do it for more of a cool factor. Social media comes into play with that big time because you'll look at the photo and it's like, this has how many likes? This person has how many people looking at this? Like, I'm working my ass off, trying to make great stuff, trying to display what I like and do, and like, this is what's getting attention. And then it starts to feel like it is that popularity contest and it almost starts to piss you off. But I guess it's tough to know that Sometimes it's just the name behind it or this. It's like, oh, I went to a company to get this logo done, so it must it must be good. I paid big money for it, but they aren't always getting that um, the output that you could do with your passion and knowledge you have. And that almost takes away from the people that are doing it more based off of passion and have already been interested. Um, don't get me wrong, I think it's super cool Like if someone admires it and thinks it's something interesting. It's like, hey, I want to do that because it seems cool to me. But don't only do trendy things or latch onto those easy routes maybe because of the popularity or some ulterior motive. Like if you're going to delve into it, go wholeheartedly, I think. Because in the end, as lots of people are saying, Instagram's not going to be there, Facebook may not be there, but your work's going to be there. So. I don't know, tell the most honest way you can.